Hi, Cheryl Alden again from Symmetry Pilates Center, and today I am going to be doing a fitness circle workout. So I'm going to be using the Marathu Fitness Circle. There's also uh, the Magic Circle, the Resistance Ring, Ring of Fire, however you want to uh, call it. But we are going to start standing, so go grab your circle and let's begin. All right, we're going to start with the standing cat stretch. So our arms are going to be up overhead. Feet are about hip distance apart and feel evenly weighted on your feet. We're going to inhale to bring the circle towards your chest. As you exhale, drop the chin round forward. Now as you inhale, lengthen your spine as you reach your arms overhead. So now my body is parallel to the floor. As I exhale, I'm going to drop the circle towards the floor, round my spine, and then scoop all the way back up, lengthening my spine and reaching the circle back overhead. Again, inhale, bringing the circle down. You're going to drop the chin, round forward. Inhale, lengthen out. So again, I'm parallel to the floor. Exhale, round your spine. The circle comes towards the floor. And then lengthen all the way back up. I'm just going to turn to the side. So you can see it. Inhale, exhale, round forward. Allow your knees to bend if you need to. If you have some tight hamstrings, exhale, round and roll all the way back up, reaching the arms back overhead. Let's do one more, breathing in and exhale. Inhale, lengthen, feel that nice openness through the back of the hips and then exhale, round your spine and then lengthen all the way back overhead. Going into a mermaid with rotation. So same start position, stay evenly weighted on your feet. You're gonna inhale to side bend. So feel that nice length through your side. And then as you exhale, flex and round your spine like you're trying to square your shoulders to the floor allowing your knees to bend you're going to inhale come back to that side lengthen and then exhale come back tall inhale the other side exhale scoop and rotate again trying to square the shoulders to the floor inhale and then exhale come back up we're going to do one more each side breathing in think length and then side bend exhale Inhale, keep that length on your side. Come back to vertical. One more time, grow tall first, then side bend, exhale, scoop and rotate. Inhale to come back to your side and then lengthen all the way back up. So now we're just gonna do a little uh, activation. We're gonna do a, of the arm, the chest and the back with a little bit of side bend. So it's not gonna be as much as you did before because we are gonna put the circle on the hip to activate the arm muscles. So placing the circle on your hip, it doesn't have to start parallel to the floor because we are gonna be side bending into it. So again, evenly weighted on your feet. You're gonna inhale, bring your free arm up. Now, as you breathe out, press into the circle and just side bend towards that circle side. So you feel a nice activation of your chest and your back. Inhale, lengthen up, and then exhale, just bring that arm back down. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Breathing in, exhale, side bend. Inhale, lengthen, and release down. One more time, breathing in. Think about open palm and just pressing down. Try not to let your shoulder round forward. Inhale, and then coming back down. Now we're gonna switch sides. So again, placing it right on your hip. It's not necessarily parallel to the floor because again, we're side bending towards it. So it kind of has to move a little bit. So find a spot where it's not gonna slide. Inhale to bring the arm up. And again, as you exhale, press into the circle, feel that activation of the arm muscles. You're gonna inhale to come back up and then release it down. Couple more breathing in and exhale. Again, feeling the evenness of your chest and back muscles engaging, thinking about just drawing your arm towards your side. One more time, breathing in and exhale. Inhale, lengthen up and releasing down. Now we're gonna go into a chest press. So we're gonna stay open palm and then we're gonna be adding some leg work. So just getting the chest press first. Try to stay wide through your collarbones. You're gonna breathe in. As you exhale, just squeeze in on the circle and then reach the arms forward. Inhale, release the tension and bend the elbows. Exhale to press and inhale, return. Couple more like this, and then we're gonna add a squat. So again, the goal is not to crush the circle, it's just to engage, feeling your chest muscles working as you squeeze in on the circle and reach it forward. So now we're gonna add a squat. If you need to, you can bring your feet a little further apart, breathing in. Again, same arm movement, you're just gonna squat, and then coming back up, exhale. 
and inhale. Try to keep the spine long. Your torso has to lean forward a little bit as you squat. We're not trying to keep the torso vertical. Last two, and return one more time. Exhale, and inhale. So now, we're gonna add a little bit of a balance challenge. Same squat, we're gonna come up with a knee. So again, feet are about hip distance apart, breathe in. As you exhale, squeeze the circle as you squat. Now as you come up, shift to one side and bring the knee up. Place that foot down as you squat, and you're gonna come up to the other side and balance. Exhale, squat, squeezing the circle, come up and lift the knee. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, squat, and lift, exhale. Think about that openness to the back of your hips, getting that balance, the stability on the one leg last time, and place it down. So now we're gonna do a chest pull. So starting with our arms long, and I'm just gonna wrap my fingers around the circle. So instead of squeezing in, you're thinking about pulling it apart. Okay, so as you breathe in, stay. <laughs> And then you're gonna exhale, you're just gonna pull the circle towards you. And I'm thinking about reaching my elbows wide to the sides of the room. And then inhale, just reach the arms forward. As you exhale, feeling the back of your shoulder and shoulder blade muscles engaging, and then reach the circle forward. A few more like that. Not feeling tension in your neck, you feel a nice width through your upper back. Exhale to draw the circle in and bring it forward. One more time, exhale and inhale. So now we're gonna add that same squat back. So again, if you feel like you need to bring your feet a little bit further apart, do so. You're gonna, again, breathe in. As you exhale, squat down, reach the circle wide, and then come back up. Exhale, and inhale. Think about pulling the elbows to the sides of the room. Two more, and up one more time. And now we're gonna add that balance component again, but this time we're gonna do a back lunge. So as you exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows and squeeze. We're gonna stay on the same side and then come up to a knee. Lunge back and come up to a knee. A few more. Lunge back, come up and balance. Last two, pulling out on the circle and up. One more time. Draw the elbows wide and lift. Place that foot down, we're gonna switch sides. Again, as you exhale, you're gonna lunge back with the other leg, same arm movement, and come forward for five. And balance. Pull the circle wide and lift. We only have two more. Back and lengthen. And up. All right, so now we're gonna place the circle just, uh, just above our ankles, right? Just above that medial ankle bone, okay? So from here, you wanna make sure you have a good grip, and then what I'd like you to do is just walk your feet in a little bit, okay? So now I'm feeling those inner thighs engaging a bit, okay? And we're gonna do some heel lifts from here. So thinking about keeping your spine nice and long, engaging that core, arms can be anywhere that you need them to be in order to maintain your balance. So you can be out to the side, you can challenge yourself, bring them up overhead. I'm just gonna keep them right by my side for now. So as you exhale, you're gonna keep the inner thigh tension and just come up to the balls of your feet. And then you're gonna come back down. Just trying to maintain that tension without letting the circle push you out and bring it back down. Remember, as you come up onto the balls of your feet, you wanna think about allowing your toes to flex and allowing the ball of that foot to splay, right? Couple more, then we're gonna change it up a little bit. One more time, and lift. So now we're gonna add a little squeeze at the top, okay? So you're gonna breathe in, as you exhale, lift up to the balls of your feet, and then you're just gonna squeeze in on the circle a little bit, release, and then come back down. Exhale to lift, squeeze, release, and then come back down. Think about drawing everything up towards the ceiling, engage the inner thighs, release, and then down. Let's do two more like that. Lifting up, just a little squeeze, release, and down. One more time. Lifting up, we're gonna squeeze in, release, 
and down. So now we're gonna do a couple sets of pulses. So breathe in. As you exhale, lift up. Inhale to stay, get your balance. Exhale, pulse in for three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. So I think about like laterally rotating, turning my heels in a little bit as I pulse. Exhale to lift up. Breathe in to stay, find your balance and pull three, two, one, and release. We're gonna do one more. Exhale to lift up and three, two, one, and release. So now we're gonna do a little mini squat combined with the heel lift, okay? So I want you to inhale just to come into your little squat here, okay? You still have that inner thigh energy. My spine is long and neutral. As I exhale, I'm gonna lift the heels a little. Stay there, lengthen the legs, and then come back down. Inhale to do your mini squat. So we're not going down very far, right? You're gonna lift the heels up, lengthen, find your balance, and then come down. Inhale to bend, exhale, lift, lengthen. You don't have to lift the heel very high, right? We're not trying to maximize that heel lift, right? Anytime you lift that heel, we are working on that balance. We want all those muscles of the feet to work too. Last time, we don't wanna lock out the foot. Lengthen and back down. So now we can reverse it, okay? I'm just gonna adjust my circle a little bit. So now we're gonna start by lifting the heels. So inhale to lift the heels, stay there. Bend the knees, come to your little squat. Reach the heel of the foot down, find the center of your foot, and then stand tall, a few more like that. So we're gonna lift up, bend the knees, whoop. <laughs> Lower down, we are challenging balance and lengthen three more times lift up bend the knees fold at the hips lower the heels down and lengthen we're going to do two more lift up bend lower and lengthen one more time lift up bend the knees fold at the hips lower the heels down and lengthen all right so now we're going to be going down onto the mat starting with our ab prep so what we're going to do we're going to rest the head on the inside handle of the circle <coughs> and then i'm going to place my hands side by side on the other inside handle my pelvis is neutral feet are down <laughs> and we're thinking about again that thoracic flexion so the nice thing about the circle is that I can let the weight of my head rest on it but I can also at the top end use my hands a little bit to try to increase that flexion okay so shoulder girdle stability we're going to inhale we're going to do a two breath pattern as you exhale you're going to lift up gaze is right over those kneecaps and again my pelvis is neutral and inhale I'm going to lower down exhale lift and inhale, lower. Exhale to lift, we're gonna do three more and then we're gonna add on. Exhale to lift, again, give a little extra if you can and then lower down. Last two, keeping your shoulder girdle stable and lower down one more time. Exhale, lift and lower. So now we're gonna alternate a leg and tabletop. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. So I'm gonna inhale, exhale. I'm gonna flex up as I lift my right leg to tabletop. Inhale, place it down. Left leg's gonna come up. Exhale, lift and lower. So while you're alternating, you wanna try to keep, again, that pelvis nice and neutral and trying to prevent rotation, right? We wanna try to keep it level or parallel to the floor. We're gonna do two more sets like this. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and lower one more time each side exhale and inhale so now we're going to add a leg long so we're going to stick with the right leg here so you're just going to breathe in as you exhale lift up and bring that leg to tabletop now as you inhale and lower down you're extending the leg to that long diagonal as you lower your head but keep the pelvis neutral exhale lift up bend the knee and lengthen as you lower three more times exhale lift and lengthen exhale lift and lengthen one more time exhale lift lengthen out you're going to bend that knee place it down we're moving over to the left hand side 
So breathe in, exhale, lift the leg to tabletop. As you flex, lengthen the leg long and low. Exhale, lift. Again, only reaching it as low as you can maintain that neutral, right? You don't want to let the back arch more because of the weight of the leg. You want to keep that nice pelvic stability. Two more. Exhale, lift and lengthen one more time. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Bend that knee. You're going to take that circle out from behind your head and we're going to go into our stomachs. Going into breaststroke prep number two, right? We're going to put the circle right around your tush and place your hands on the handles. Okay, tip of my nose is down. Legs can be together or hip distance apart, but you want to try to keep, again, that pelvis neutral and think about working that upper back. So I'm going to start with an inhale, opening through the shoulders, lifting the circle. As you exhale, think about lifting through the crown of your head, getting into those upper back muscles. Inhale, think about squeezing into the circle a little bit. And then as you exhale, you're going to release down, allow the shoulders to relax. So inhale, opening through the chest, lift the circle a little bit. Exhale, lengthen out and up. Remember, just think about those upper back muscles extending, not that low back. Inhale, stay. And then exhale, release back down. Inhale, lifting the circle. Exhale, think about lengthening out through the crown of your head. Reach the circle towards your feet. Inhale, stay. And exhale, release back down. We're going to do two more. Inhale, exhale, keep the energy in the legs, the abdominals are turned on, stabilizing that low back. Inhale, and exhale, release down. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, lift, inhale to stay, and then exhale all the way back down. So now we're gonna go into some scapular isolation and a little bit more extension work. So I'm gonna place the circle on its handle and I'm gonna hold on the side, okay? So now in this position, I'm already a little extended just because I, I don't want to compromise my shoulder joint, right? I want to try to keep that shoulder joint nice and stable. So if this is too much extension for you already, you start feeling it in your low back, you can just kind of angle the circle away a little bit. So now I don't have to have as much extension. You just want to make sure that the circle is not going to slip out from underneath you. So I'm just going to start with it kind of vertical. Okay, my upper back is lifted a little bit. Legs are reaching long. So now for the shoulder blade movement, you want to just inhale, reach the shoulder blades up. So think about pressing the circle forward. And then as you exhale, just glide the shoulder blades down. Inhale, allowing the shoulder blades to glide up the back of your rib cage. And then as you exhale, just letting them glide back down. We're just going to do a couple more. And then we're going to add some more extension. One more time. Inhale. Gliding them up, keeping the elbows long as you glide down. It's not a very big movement. So now inhale, allow the shoulder blades to glide up. As you exhale, glide the shoulder blades down, lift through the crown of your head. Think about extending at that upper back just a little bit more. The circle comes towards you. And then inhale, come back down, let the shoulder blades glide up. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades, lift out and up. Remember, just think about those upper back muscles, not going into that low back, and then release all the way back down. Couple more. Inhale, exhale to lift, and then release down one more time. Exhale, lengthen out and up, and then release down. You place the circle down, just give yourself a little bit of a shell stretch, rounding up and over your thighs, and then we're gonna lengthen up, going into the 100. So you can grab your circle. We're gonna break it up into a 50 and a 50. So placing, I'm going to put my right leg on the one handle of the circle, it's on the other handle, resting on the other handle, arms are by your side, pelvis is going to stay neutral because I'm kind of in a little bit of a closed chain, okay, but if you feel any tension in your low back, I'm going to have you in print. So let's bring the opposite leg up. As we exhale, we're just going to think about pressing down on the circle a little bit. You're not trying to crush it. Right? We're just trying to think about a little bit of an activation of the posterior chain, okay? So you're going to inhale. As you exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Inhale for five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. As you exhale, just press down on the circle a little bit and hold. Inhale, release it. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, press. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And press. Two, three, four, five. We've got two more on this side. 
and exhale two three four five last time two three four five and press two three four five inhale grab underneath your knee just come up to a seated position so we can move that circle to the other side lengthen all the way down head's gonna start down opposite leg is in tabletop pelvis in neutral or again slightly imprinted if you need to Exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Inhale for five. In, two, three, four, five, and press. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and press. Two, three, four, five. Last three. Inhale. And exhale. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Last time. Breathing in. And exhale. Inhale to stay. Grab underneath your knee, come all the way up to the sitting position, and we're gonna go into a half rollback. Knees are gonna be bent, <laughs> starting sitting right up on top of your sit bones, and you're just gonna hold on to the circle and round up over your thighs. So breathing in, as you exhale, you're gonna lead the move with your low back as you roll your pelvis away from your thighs, keeping your spine rounded, and then you're gonna inhale to come back up on top of your sit bones. Exhale to roll back, you can give that Circle a little squeeze if you want, and then coming back up and over. Three more. Exhale to roll back, and inhale. Exhale to scoop and roll back, and inhale. We're gonna do one more. Exhale, opening through the front of the hips, and then lengthening back up and over. And now sitting tall, we're gonna go into an obliques roll back now. So this is gonna be your start and end position, sitting up nice and tall, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna again, roll back initiating with the pelvis rolling away from the thighs. And then you're gonna just add rotation, bringing the circle with you and then sit up nice and tall. We're gonna go the other way. Exhale, roll back and inhale to lengthen. So we're thinking about that pelvis rolling backwards, but then we're also thinking about the rib cage rotating, trying to keep the thighs from knocking you. You wanna to try to keep the thighs parallel to each other, feel the movement from the spine. Exhale and inhale. So now we're gonna combine the half roll back with obliques. So instead of rounding forward to start, we're just gonna start and end vertical, okay? So breathe in as you exhale, you're gonna roll back open through the hips and now just come back up nice and tall. And now we're gonna add rotation. Roll back and rotate and then come back up to vertical. Exhale, rotate and then back up. Now just roll back. Exhale, scoop and roll back, and then come back up. Now go into the left. So we're just gonna alternate the direction that we start. Exhale, rotate. Now coming back to center, just rounding back and sitting tall, going to the right first. Exhale, roll back and lengthen. Exhale, scoop and rotate, come back. Just center now, exhale to roll back and up. One more time, starting left. Exhale, scoop and lengthen up, exhale and inhale. All right, relax the arms. We're gonna come all the way down, going into the roll up prep first, and then we're gonna to move to the fold. So pelvis stays neutral. I like my legs hip distance apart. You can keep your legs together if you'd like. Feet are flexed. Now my arms are reaching overhead, but I'm not letting the circle rest on the mat, okay? I'm thinking about that energy through my arms, okay? I wanna keep that shoulder girdle stability. So starting with the prep, we're gonna inhale, bring the arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. So my gaze is right through my circle. Pelvis stays neutral. Now stay here. Inhale, move the arm to try to keep the torso still, and then lower down, inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, just move the arms, try to keep that lift, and then lower down. Couple more like that. <laughs> inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, arms move towards your ear. And then you lower down one more time, breathing in. Exhale, breathe in, move the arms, and then lengthen up. So now we're gonna go into the full. You can definitely stay with the prep if that's where you're more comfortable. So with the full, we're gonna roll all the way up. You're gonna inhale, bring the circle towards the ceiling. Exhale, roll through your spine as you come back up on top of your sit bones. My arms are parallel to the floor. Inhale to start rolling back as you exhale. Reach through the heels, think about wrapping the glutes, lengthen through that low back, come back to me, you're neutral as your arms return by your ears. Inhale, circle floats up. Exhale, coming all the way up and over. Inhale to start rolling back, and exhale, 
lengthen with control all the way back down. We're going to do three more. Breathing in. Exhale. Come all the way up. Remember, you can stick with the prep if you would like. Inhale. And coming all the way down. Last two. Inhale. Arms come up. Exhale. Come all the way up. It always feels nice. Really using the strength of your abdominals to mobilize that spine. One more time. Breathing in and exhale. Inhale to roll back and then exhale coming all the way back down. So now let's just roll up to a sitting position and we're going to go into one leg circle. So similar to the hundred, we're going to keep that leg long and with every exhale, we're just going to give the circle a little press down again, just to activate that posterior chain a little bit. Pelvis is going to stay neutral. My arms are going to stay by my side. If you want a little bit extra stability challenge, you can always reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So we're going to bring that left leg either to tabletop or a little extended if your hamstrings are tight or you can keep it fully extended okay so if you're gonna if your leg is long you want to think about tracing a circle on the ceiling with your big toe if the knee is bent you want to think about tracing it with that kneecap okay so arms are by your side or up you're going to inhale to cross your midline as you exhale again just gently press on that circle as you complete the circle inhale for half your circle and exhale return inhale and exhale complete it two more times in this direction trying to keep that pelvic stability last time and now reverse inhale exhale press down on the circle and then complete inhale and exhale last three only making the circle as large as you can while maintaining that stability last two and one more time inhale and exhale bend the knee Grab underneath it, we're gonna take that circle, just move it to the other side. So same thing, again, think about just engaging through that circle as you exhale. Pelvis is neutral, extend that leg up. We're gonna inhale, cross our midline, exhale to complete our circle. Inhale and exhale. Feeling that nice circumduction of the hip joint as you inhale and exhale. One more time in this direction. And now we're going to reverse it. Inhale, exhale, press down on the circle as you complete the circle with the leg. Last three. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. And exhale, bend the knee. Come up to a sitting position. We're going to go into spine twist. So a couple different positions for our legs to be. You can keep your legs straight. You can bend the knees a little bit, or you can sit with your legs crossed. If you have a yoga block, you can sit up. We don't want to have any tension through our hips. Trying to keep the spine nice and vertical as we then add rotation. So if those hamstrings are tight and you're sitting like this, you want to just bend your knees a little bit so you feel like you're sitting right up on top of your sit bones. I'm just going to sit with my legs crossed. We're going to put this circle right on our sternum right below your chest and you're going to wrap your hands around okay i don't want them here because the tendency is shoulders are going to hike so think fingertips together allow those elbows to just drop down so we're going to inhale to rotate so as we inhale we think about that rib cage expanding out and up so it might feel a little tighter when we inhale to rotate versus when we exhale to rotate okay so breathe in think tall exhale just stay here feel the abdominals engage i'm right up on top of my sit bones as I inhale, I'm going to rotate three, two, one, and then exhale, come back to center. Inhale, three, two, one, and exhale, back to center. Think about spiraling up, 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 and then back to center. Thinking about just that rib cage movement, pelvis stays calm. Inhale, two, three, and exhale, center. One more time. Inhale, two, three and exhale center now we're just going to do a couple uh exhaling and just see if you notice a little bit of a difference so breathe in think tall and now let's exhale for three as we rotate exhale 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 inhale lengthen to center exhale rotate three two one and center one more time each direction three two and one and lengthen center last time exhale 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 
and inhale center. So you might have noticed that you have a little bit more rotation when you exhale versus when you inhale, just different ways to mobilize the spine. Okay, so now we're gonna go into uh, rolling like a ball with a teaser balance. So just like that half rollback we did, um, we're thinking about initiating the movement of rolling back by increasing uh, the, uh, the pelvic rotation, by kind of engaging the lower abdominals, thinking about increasing the lumbar curve, that low back curve to initiate the movement versus using our head, right? So let's just start it nice and tall and you're just gonna roll back, right? So that's how we're gonna initiate that movement of rolling like a ball. Exhale, roll back and up. So now let's just go into a different prep. So we're gonna roll back and bring your legs up. So now without rolling all the way back, just think about increasing the space between your pelvis and your thighs, getting a nice deep connection and then coming back. So just thinking about increasing that little curve in your low back and back. So that's the initiation of movement that we want for that rolling like a ball, okay? So now we're gonna go into rolling like a ball and we're gonna come up and balance and teaser. So you're gonna roll off your sit bones, bring the legs up, the circles just right over your shins and my gaze is on my kneecap. So I'm gonna inhale to roll back. As you exhale, come back up, use those abs like a break, find your balance and reach the arms and legs. Bend the knees, arms come back, roll back as you inhale, exhale, you're just behind your sit bones as you come to your teaser balance. Initiate by engaging through that core and lengthen. Inhaling, rolling back just to mid shoulder blades. Find the balance and lift, couple more. Inhale to roll back nice and controlled. I like to call this controlled momentum as we roll back, right? Inhale and exhale. One more time, rolling back. Find your balance and reach and hold it and hold it and release down. All right, going into single leg stretch. So we're gonna roll onto your backs, imprint the spine and bring the legs to tabletop, okay? So hands are just, uh, the, you're holding onto the circle, open palm, and we're just gonna be doing a little pulse in. Breathe in as you exhale, lift head, neck and shoulders up. So inhale to stay here. As you exhale, extend one leg and just squeeze in on the circle a little bit. Inhale, come center. Exhale, reach and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to speed it up just a little bit. So we're going to inhale for two. Inhale and inhale as you switch the legs. Exhale and exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Let's do three more. Three. Inhale, inhale and out. One more set, breathe in, in and exhale, exhale. Both legs are in tabletop, going into double leg stretch. So my hands are still holding onto the circle, trying to keep the lift, breathe in, exhale, reach arms and legs long, and then bend the knees, bring the circle back over your thighs or over your shins, exhale, reach, and inhale. We've got three more, exhale, reach, and return. Exhale to reach, and return. Last two, and return one more time. Reach, and return, and lower down. We're gonna go into scissors with obliques. So legs are gonna be up towards the ceiling, and we're gonna be rotating towards the leg that's up, okay? So breathe in as you exhale. Lift head, neck, and shoulders up. That circle reaches to the ceiling. So breathe in as you exhale. You're gonna rotate towards the leg that's reaching towards your head. So just a little pulse, pulse, and rotate. It's an exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. Here's four and four. Last three. Here's two. One more time each side. Inhale, and then exhale, lower down. Going into shoulder bridge, again with that long leg one ankle is on that circle, okay? Arms are by your side, opposite knee is bent, and pelvis is gonna stay neutral. So remember, we're thinking about hinging at the hip joint, keeping that spine long. 
arms by your side. But again, if you'd like a little bit more uh, stability challenge, you can reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So it's an inhale. As I exhale, I'm going to lift up. So I'm pressing a lot with my leg my, that's on the floor. So my left leg. Going to inhale to stay here, keeping the pelvis neutral. Reach that other leg long and pulse down in the circle. Three, two, one. Inhale, stay. Try to keep the pelvis level. Exhale, pulse. Three, two, one. Really pressing through that stabilizing hip. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, and then exhale, fold at the hips to come back down. We're going to do that two more times. So again, if you want, you can try it now with your arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, three two, one. Again, think about just engaging through the back of your hip, keeping that leg reaching long. Three, two, one. Inhale, and then exhale. Come back down. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale, three, two, one. Breathe in. Exhale, three, two, one. Keep thinking about lifting that hip higher. Three, two, one. Inhale to keep the pelvis level, and then lower back down. So now we have to do the other side. One leg is on, again, rolling down, opposite knee is bent, pelvis stays long and neutral, breathing in, exhale, lift up. So I'm really pressing through that stabilizing leg, inhale, stay. Exhale, pulse down on the circle, three, two, one. Think about opening that hip towards the ceiling. Pulse, two, three, and release one more time. Three, two, one, breathe in, and exhale, coming back down. Again, remember, you can bring those arms up if you'd like. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. Breathe in to stay. Exhale, pulse. Three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale. One more time. Three, two, one. Breathe in. And then exhale, come back down. We're going to do one more set. Inhale. Exhale to lift. Breathe in. Exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale for three, two, one, inhale, one more time, three, two, one, breathe in to stay, and then exhale, coming all the way back down. We're gonna come up to a sitting position, going into soft. <laughs> so this time the legs are gonna be long because we're gonna be putting the circle around the foot. So again, if you need to, let your knees bend because I want you to keep that spine nice and vertical to start, and then we're gonna add rotation and flexion. Um, again, you can sit up on a yoga block, roll your mat up a little bit if you'd like. Arms are gonna be long, holding onto the circle. So I have both hands on one side of the circle on the handle, and then I'm gonna put my foot on the other side, okay? So sitting up nice and tall, you're gonna to inhale to rotate towards one foot and place the circle on your foot. As you exhale, stay evenly weighted through the pelvis, so even weight on my right and left sit bones, and then you're gonna exhale, flex up and over. So tuck on the circle a little bit. You might feel a little bit more of a pull through that hamstring. You're gonna inhale to lengthen back up. You're still rotated. And then exhale, come center. Inhale, rotate, place the circle on your other foot. Exhale, flex up and over. Inhale to grow tall. And then exhale, center. Inhale, rotate, place the circle. Bend the elbows, think about reaching them to the sides of the room, not letting your shoulders hike up. Inhale to stack tall, and then exhale, center. Inhale, place the circle, exhale, flex up and over. Think about this as your nice active recovery. One more time each side, inhale, place the circle, exhale, flex up and over. Inhale to stack up, and then back to center. One more time, breathe in. Place the circle up and over your foot, flex up and over that thigh, evenly weighted on those sit bones, lengthen up, and then derotate center. So now we're gonna go into some sideline work. You're gonna place the circle on its handle. My bottom leg is through the circle, resting on the handle. Other leg is gonna be resting on top. So we're gonna work inner thigh. <laughs> um, my bottom arm is bent, just creating my head. It can be long if you would like, okay? but I'm gonna just keep it bent for now. Think about drawing up on your rib cage on that underside and your top hand is your kickstand hand. So we're trying to keep the hips open. So look down your body. If you see your feet forward, just move them back a little bit or move your tush forward, okay? So breathing in, again, keeping the spine long. We're thinking about pressing down with that top leg. So inhale, as you exit, just engage the circle and press it down, working the upper inner thigh, and then inhale, release. 
So think about that muscle right up near the pelvis and then release. Keep reaching the leg long and then press down and then back up. Two more. Exhale to press. Trying to keep the spine long and neutral. One more time. Exhale to press. And then release. Okay, so now we're going to work the bottom adductor. You're going to breathe and exhale. Lift that bottom leg up and then release it back down. Remember, the goal is not necessarily to bring those inner thighs together. That has as much to do with adductor strength as it has to do with abductor, outer thigh flexibility, right? You wanna keep your toes reaching long and just think about, again, engaging that upper inner thigh to lift your leg one more time. Exhale to lift and inhale to lower. So now we're gonna do arcs up and over the circle. So you're going to bring that top leg forward. So I'm just thinking about the top half of the circle. You're going to inhale to bring your leg up and back, thinking about opening through that hip. And then you're going to exhale, bring it up and forward. Inhale and exhale. So thinking about just the hip movement, getting into that extension and then some flexion. Breathing in, up and over, exhale, lift. It back one more time back and forth trying to keep the toes and knees facing forward and bring it back so now we're going to place the top foot or the top leg back on the handle and now i'm thinking about making a smiley face on the bottom side of the circle with the bottom leg so i'm going to bring it to the front edge of the circle i'm going to go down back and up and then down and forward for five down and back and then down and forward. Inhale and exhale. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Four more time. And back. Forward and release. So now before we go to the other side, we're going to go into side body twist. So you're just going to change where the circle is. So now the bottom leg is um, under the circle. So now I'm thinking about those inner thighs that we just worked, holding onto the circle so it doesn't drop. So now I am going to keep that bottom arm long because I'm going to use it to kind of help me slide up to that teaser type position, okay? Top arm now is on my side. I'm going to inhale to side bend up and then as I exhale, scoop and come up to my teaser. So my tush is planted. I'm not hanging out on one side. Try to get both of them down, and then you're gonna come all the way back to your side and then release. So breathe in, exhale, scoop, come up to your teaser, your tush is planted, inhale, and then exhale, release. Breathing in, exhale, come all the way up, inhale, just start lengthening back to your side, and then release down. We're gonna do two more, breathing in, exhale. We're gonna think shoulder girdle stability, on that bottom side and release. We're gonna do one more, breathing in. Exhale, scoop, come all the way up. Inhale and exhale down. Switching sides. So turning over, going to the other side of your mat. Um, again, we're gonna start with the inner thighs, right? So the bottom leg is through the circle. Top leg is gonna be resting on the other handle and again, just for the sake of symmetry, I'm gonna bend my bottom elbow to start, okay? Toes and knees are facing forward. Think about reaching the legs long, drawing up on that rib cage on your underside, breathing in. Again, as you exhale, think about that upper inner thigh as you reach your leg long and press it down, and then inhale, release. Exhale to press, and inhale, release. Thinking about your Top shoulder, just trying to keep it open. We don't want to round forward, right? Trying to keep the shoulders stacked, engaging through that core. Last time, exhale to press and inhale. So now breathe in, exhale, lift the bottom leg and release. Exhale again, not necessarily having to get that bottom leg towards the top leg or to it, right? We're just thinking about towards it not letting your feet come in together. Keep reaching those toes long. Last two, exhale, lift, and inhale one more time. Exhale to lift and lower. So now we're gonna go into those arcs, starting with the top leg, bringing the leg 
forward of the circle. Again, just thinking about the top half. So you're gonna inhale, bring your leg up and back, and up and forward. Breathing in, opening through the hip, really feeling that nice length through the front of the hip. Breathing in and back, exhale up and forward. Again, trying to keep the toes and knees facing forward. One more time, back and forth. Breathing in and exhale. Placing that leg on the top circle. Right now we're thinking about the bottom part of the circle, drawing your smiley face. So you're gonna bring your leg forward of the circle. You're gonna go down, back and up, and then down, forward and up. Inhale and lift and exhale. Three more, breathing in and exhale. Last two, trying to keep the hips as stacked as you can. And forward one more time, inhale and exhale. Now going back to your side body twist, so we just need to adjust that circle, placing uh, the handle on the inside of the legs, right? So the circle's on the inside, and now my bottom arm is gonna be long, top hand is resting on my top thigh. Remember, both sides can look and feel very different, right? So we're gonna inhale to side bend, exhale, come back up. Again, if you need to, from here, you can just bend your knees if your hamstrings are your limiting factor. You're gonna inhale to start rolling down to your side and then release, breathing in. Exhale to come back up, inhale, scoop, and then release. We've got three more. Exhale, all the way up. Start rolling back, find that side, and then lower down, breathing in. Exhale, inhale, and release. Last two. I might have miscounted. <laughs> come all the way up. Can plan your hips. Roll back, come back to your side, and release. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, come all the way up. Inhale to come back to your side. Woo! And then all the way back down. All right, going into spine stretch forward. So we're doing it with the circle. So we're not gonna be articulating as much as we would if we didn't have the circle. I'm just gonna face the side. So again, if you need to let your knees bend because I want that pelvis to start vertical. Arms are long and my hands are on one handle, side by side. So we're thinking about just that little ab prep that we did at the beginning. So it's not so much about the arms pushing, you're thinking about using the strength of your abdominals to press the circle down, okay? So we're gonna breathe in. As you exit, just nod your chin and just, again, engage the circle, keeping the shoulder girdles stable, and then lengthen up, inhale. Exhale to press, and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, and Inhale, we're gonna do two more. Exhale to press and lengthen up. If you start feeling gripping in your hip flexors, just let your knees bend a little bit, right? And lengthen up, let's do one more. Exhale to press and lengthen up. All right, so now we're gonna go into a swimming prep. So we're gonna be on our hands and knees. It's gonna be a little bit of a interesting way to get into it because we're going to be pressing down on the circle versus lifting up okay so we're thinking about uh the front of the hip versus the back of the hip lifting up so um put the circle on its handle and you're going to place the top foot on and then you're going to move yourself out okay so trying to get that circle to be relatively vertical to the floor okay and try to have your shoulders over your hands, your hips over your knees, okay? Spine long and neutral. So I'm trying to keep my hips square to the floor, okay? Length through the crown of the head. Think about that shoulder girdle stability here. So it's a breath in. Now as you exhale, I want you to reach your leg long and just press down on the circle. And then inhale, release. Exhale, so it gets just like an engagement of the front of the hip right? You want to feel that nice integrity of the front of the hip as you press down. 
the spine staying nice and stable. We're gonna do two more. Exhale to press and inhale one more time. Exhale to press and release. Okay, so now if you feel like you can, I want you to reach your opposite arm and just hold it there. So now as you exhale, you're gonna to try to press down and release. I definitely don't have as much power, you could say, because I've taken a point of stability off, but you're gonna exhale. Think about just pressing down and release, keeping everything nice and stable and press down and release. Place the hand down and we can do the same thing with the other leg, okay? So again, I'm gonna put the circle down. My foot is gonna be on it. And then I'm just gonna reach my leg long as I walk my body forward, okay? So again, shoulders are stable, hands are underneath them. My knee is about underneath my hips and my pelvis is square. It's an inhale. And then again, as you exhale, keep that leg long as you press down and release. Exhale to press, keep the length through the crown of your head and release. I have a pointer dog, a German short hair pointer, so I always think about that pointing long, that reaching through the crown of my head out through my tailbone. One more time, exhale to press and release. So now again, if you feel up to it, you can reach that opposite leg long. Try to keep the spine nice and stable as you exhale to press and release. Exhale, press and release, a few more, exhale, and inhale, last two, exhale, reach the leg long and down, one more time, exhale, press, and release, Whew. all right, so now we're going to go into push-ups, um, but with some assistance, okay, so um, we're going to put the circle kind of right on your breastbone, okay? So you got to kind of find the spot where it's not going to feel like you're, it's digging into your diaphragm, okay? Uh, if you need to, if your arms are really long, um, you might need to put it up on um, like a platform extender, a book, a couple blocks. Just make sure it's wide enough that it's not going to slide off, okay? So we're going to place it, I'm going to put it right on my breastbone, okay? And now it's going to be more of an assisted push-up. So think about your shoulder girdle stability. My feet are together and I'm in my nice plank position, okay? So now I'm just going to bend my elbows. I'm going to inhale to bend. It's nice and assisted. And press for five. Inhale. And exhale. A couple more. Breathing in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale now stay here just lift one leg up right doesn't have to be high we're just challenging rotational stability now so you're going to inhale bend the elbows and press for five inhale and exhale last three and press keep reaching that leg long spine stays long and neutral one more time bend and press place that foot down lift the other leg we got to stay symmetrical inhale to bend and press for five inhale and exhale, press for four. Here's three. And press. Last two. Press one more time. Inhale. And exhale, place it down and come onto your knees. Whew. All right. Let's get off of our wrists and hands. We're going to come back up to a standing position and we're going to end with some balance. Placing the circle again on the handle. And now you're going to put the foot on the other handle. Okay, so again, thinking about the stance leg. Okay, pelvis stays stable. And again, we're just gonna be pressing down on the circle a little bit, but it's kind of wobbly, right? So we're not trying to crush it. Again, just thinking about engaging through that posterior chain, trying to keep your hips square. The tendency is to lift, right? So we're just thinking about keeping the pelvis level. Inhale, and then as you exhale, just again, press down a little bit, and then inhale, release. Exhale to press and inhale, exhale. So again, feeling the stability over that stance leg. We're gonna do five more. Exhale to press and release, exhale and inhale. Uh, let's do two more. <laughs> One more time, exhale to press 
and release. Nice job. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. So moving it over a bit, feeling the stability on that stance leg. Get everything situated. And again, you can do this against a wall. You can have a maple pole, something to hold on to if you need to, and then try to progress away from it if you can. Okay, so again, pelvis stays neutral. Arms can be wherever you need them to be in order to maintain balance, keeping the pelvis nice and long without letting it hike, right? We're gonna whoop, <laughs> breathe in. As you exhale, we're gonna press it down and release. Again, I'm just thinking about engaging through that hip, that upper back thigh, right? As I press down and release trying to stay well grounded onto that stance leg, feeling weighted through the center of my foot as I press down and release. Exhale to press and release. Let's do a few more. Exhale to press and release. Last two and release. One more time. Exhale and inhale. We're gonna take that. And we're gonna come back up and now we're just gonna finish with a couple stretches. So we're gonna start with that standing mermaid again, a little bit different um, from how we started, okay? My feet are gonna stay about hip distance apart, arms are gonna be overhead. So let's try to keep the hips from swaying. So we're just thinking about that torso side bend first. So breathing in. As you exhale, think length first and then side bend and then inhale to come back up to vertical. So I think about growing my spine long and then side bending over, not just collapsing on that short side. One more time each side like that. Exhale, reach up and over and inhale, come back to vertical. Last time, side bend and lengthen. So now we're gonna allow the hips to move. So breathing in. Think tall, exhale, let the hips shift to one side as you side bend the other, and then come back to vertical. Exhale, other direction, so this should feel nice, a little bit bigger stretch, more range of motion, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Coming all the way up to vertical, now we're gonna just do a roll down, inhale, bring the circle towards your chest. Exhale, round forward, reach the circle toward the floor and just place it there. Breathe in, stay, let your head just hang. And as you exhale, you're going to roll all the way up. Inhale to bring your arms up towards the ceiling and exhale. You're done. I hope you enjoyed our fitness circle workout. Have a great day.